with all my uh, black powder projects, um, I usually start by you know, unwrapping the box and I more or less give recommendations about shipping methods at different places. This here is my uh, arquebus that I made. It was actually made by a gentleman in Poland. So this had to travel overseas and uh, came by Express Air Mail. Okay, so Customs already took a peek at this. How about the tape? Okay. Looks like he wedged it between two hunks of styrofoam or something here. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Well, actually, this one airmail, international airmail. So this thing went for a ride and a half. But. Okay, we'll take a break and uh, finish. Alright, so what I got is two huge pieces of styrofoam that he carved out for the gun to just drop right into it, which is pretty good packing. There we go. So now we got it wrapped in plastic, so uh, that's pretty ingenious. He carved it out by hand. Pretty good, everything looks alright. And we'll take a break while I get the paper off. I ain't gonna take that. Alright, we have our arquebus out of the package and box after its long journey from overseas. Uh, this here uh, arquebus is a reproduction of a gun from around circa 1525. I believe it might be of German design, I'm not quite sure. Um, but it's very interesting. The wood, now this, this gun maker, he did the wood with an Italian walnut. Which the figure and grain of this wood is pretty fancy, it's outstanding actually. Um, very high quality, nice chunk of wood on there. <clears throat> Barrel's heavy, and also too, if you look, this has a real barrel on it, unlike the uh, Indian muskets and uh, some others. So this is a fireable gun, and this is kind of a copy of a very rare and unusual style, I guess. Uh, it's a snapping matchlock, and it works uh, with a push-button trigger. So you have, uh, on all these earlier guns, the spring, I guess this here is the main spring. This is your uh, serpentine. And of course your uh, pan and pan cover here. So how this would work, basically, is you would cock this back until it catches on a sear down in here. And this is your mainspring giving you the tension. Your uh, match goes in like this. And you draw up on this here, tighten it down. You have your burning match. The gun is cocked, springs tense. You slide open the pan, and by depressing this button here, the gun fires. <clears throat> it's pretty interesting, a little on the unusual side. Um, the workmanship on this is excellent. You know, like I said, nice chunk of wood, pretty basic weapon, but I guess that's the way they were. The bore I measured is like 614, 615 on a diameter. And up here you have a little wooden ramrod. Try to get it out of there. Well, anyway, yeah, ramrod's up in there. 
and uh, no sights. Basically a nifty looking little gun. Alright, and there's our ramrod. We got it out now. It's basic wooden. It goes down in there. Okay, so I will make another video where I give you the turnaround and compare it to others, but so far the workmanship and quality of this piece is, is outstanding. Of course, I did pay a little bit more money for it, but <clears throat> you get what you pay for, I guess. The wood's nice on this. The uh, turnaround was fast on this builder. I don't think it was, uh, let's see, it's May. It was in May when I contacted him and sent a deposit, and it's now the first few days of August, and I had the gun from an overseas country, too. It's, this isn't made in the U.S. So, good quality. The only one thing I will note, though, is to get around international shipping laws, the vet hole is not drilled in here. So, the vet hole has to be drilled. Uh, getting it sent to you like this, it's a non-gun. Uh, it can go through the international customs and stuff without no hassles, no problems, and it's really going to be nothing too terrible to drill that vent hole. I'll make a video on doing that. And I'll make some better videos on this. I'm a little pressed for time, so I'm just making this quick video on this gun. And uh, maybe I'll compare it to my other match locks. And Teleosaurus, thanks again for the match cord, my friend. And uh, we're going to get this out and shoot it eventually. So, But for now, this is my first crack at this. And just, I got home more from work and it's late and I just want to do a quick one to let the maker know I have it and everything else. Alright.